Hi guys, welcome back to British Conquest. Hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, we are just coming off a pretty good session actually, uh, where we saw us hold Vicar Saxonis and I believe we held, I think it was Burdigala as well. And we sent this army off packing, which is good stuff. Uh, we do have another army coming, however. They'll probably be on the doorstep and they'll be connected with this army. Uh, but we should be a bit more defended by then. Um, Avaricum is probably going to get siege next turn, but I think we've got more than enough to hold that, despite uh, despite how good the uh, enemy army is. Assassin we have an assassin ready. here uh, chasing Rumo, who's sneaking around Avaricum, and we can't have that, quite frankly. Um, what I've done is I've moved the remaining units from Eberacum and London into this army here. There's only one unit left to build now, which is the uh, Berserkers. They'll be done in two turns. And once they're done, we'll be shipping off. Now, Vicar Saxon is, we might be able to hold this army here. Um, it's mostly an archer army and cavalry army. So with a bit of luck, we can hold that. Um, we don't have as much as I would like, truth be told, in terms of uh, infantry and such. But if we can hold it for more turn, that's good. But then this army is going to come and siege... Uh, Vicus, and if or Vicus, however it's pronounced, if we can hold that, I can either send this army to dispatch them and have a two-on-one fight against this army here, thus sort of destroying all the big armies, as far as I can tell, or I can start causing some havoc down here or across here, forcing them to move their attack back away from Vicus, and thus allowing Vicus freedom to move its troops wherever it needs to. That's the plan anyway. Um, sorry, first things first, from Burdigala, we did have a diplomat go out, or I believe we should have diplomats somewhere. Um, there he is, he moved last turn. His job is now going to be moving to speak to the, uh, the Western Roman Empire, who've now rebelled completely and have been taken over by someone completely different. Now, you know, old rivalries and wars and such will take their toll, so the likelihood is they might not want a peace treaty with us, but they have asked for it in the past. And they are now at war with the Roxolani, so if we can, you know, get an alliance with them, it'll make our life so much easier dealing with the uh, with these Roxolani. And it would make a massive sort of Game of Thrones style turn, where the first people we invaded and fought and pushed back will now be the uh, the ones we have to ally with in the end game. So that's, the, so that's what's going on. So what we'll do is go ahead and end the turn. Yep, Avaricum is uh, under siege as we expected. Haven't got a lot of eyes in this middle section, which I'm worried about. Um, oh, Christ. Right, well, the two big armies have actually arrived at Vicar Saxons now, and they might be attacking together. If they do, I don't think we'll hold them. I honestly don't. Um, all the Goths have moved into our lands. Oh, God, there's only a couple of them. I won't be too worried. Um... So, I really don't want to have to wait for this unit of Berserkers. I think I'm just going to go. Um, I don't know if I'll get there in time, but I'm going to move as far as I can. If they siege the next turn, we're probably screwed there. I really don't want to lose that army because they're so good. And they got and he's an amazing general as well. Um, but God, if he dies, he died defending the north for God knows how long. Um, right, so we've got eyes on this army now, so we can actually see what's in it. No, we can't. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to move my spy up to the bridge because I want to see what's going on over here. Can we see what's in it? No, we can't. All right. Well, let's get rid of this guy first because having him here bugs me. There we go. And he got a little bit better. Can he see what's in the army? No, he can't. Okay. Well, he's only got two ears. So I'm not going to worry about him. Well, Bird Guard looks safe for now then. Um, the armies down here seem to have moved away. Uh, Arles is poorly defended. Yes, my lord. And it looks like this one's moving away as well. So, Burdigala, we're going to be able to really, really quickly build up a force here. And that will allow us to actually move an army down south and start pushing. Um, so, I'm going to get a good garrison here first. And then I'm going to continue building more curtains for now. So we've got two two hubs here that we can start building units from. Um, I've got a spy around here somewhere within all this mess. Uh, oh, got two in fact. OK, 
Okay, so we can see what's in this big army here now. Yes, we can. Ooh, heavy infantry to, to the eyeballs. Wow. Ugh. Don't like that situation at all. It's kind of annoying because every time I feel like we've gotten, you know, a little bit closer to finding some sort of, you know, success, they just throw something else at us, which is annoying. Right now, I don't think I can do much else now. What I'm going to do is should have another boat lying around somewhere. Um, oh, there it is. I'm going to send him up to London. So when the berserkers are done, I can send them over uh, with the invading force. Right, so I think that's done now. I don't think I could do a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and end the turn. Please don't attack. Oh, that may be the opportunity we need. Maybe. Uh, oh, the Lombardies have been destroyed. Wow, where's that to? I believe that was here. Oh, wow, so they got nothing left now. Jeez. Um, okay. So my hounds are done. So I'm going to get closer, bring them into the fight. Okay, so I do honestly want to land here and start wreaking havoc in these cities. I don't know if that will draw them out, though. So the two choices I've got is I either drop anchor here, take this city, and draw this army away and fight them. Or take a chance and land and attack them. Now, the problem is, if I attack them, I will have two full armies to hold, but we've seen before that... How long it takes the other army to get onto the field and this army here I'm not confident I'll be able to mass an attack on this army especially with all that heavy infantry um, some of the lighter cavalry my chariots can take care of but most of it's heavy cavalry too that's I mean that is a defending army I can't hmm you know what I don't want them to take, to take Vicar Saxoners but if they do I want to have at least have a strong foothold here before they uh, before they take it. So I am going to try and take this city instead. I'm a right in position to, to do so as well. Okay, so we're going to want a, a ram, two towers, two ladders, and maintain the siege. Uh, and I'm going to leave a space open for my uh, walls. What's in there, by the way? Cavalry, all cavalry. Okay. Um, that could be a, a bad thing, but so we're gonna have a lot of armies uh, merge on. Who, what's the what's the guy's name? Calgasus. I'm gonna call him. Two pretty good looking guys, actually, in terms of their stats, not their actual physical appearance. Um, so yeah, that's that. Okay. Hopefully they can hold off any attack that comes their way. I'd rather be attacked by a bunch of small armies, turn it into a fairly big one and crush it, and then take the city. What I actually want is this army to come out and attack us, because defending we're much better than we are than attacking. I'm pretty confident of that. Um, Avaricum is still under siege. Bird of Gala. Okay, let's stop. Oh, I can't get around him, he's so slow. It's going to take a while to get around, but I think we're going to have to do it. Um, oh, wow, he's, he's cost some reinforcements. He might be thinking to attack us here. He'd be foolish, but he might be thinking to do it. Right, okay, let's end the turn and see what happens. I'm probably going to get into a siege. Oh, come on now. Please. We're surrounded. Don't make me laugh. Right, so that's what I'm going to have to deal with now. Okay. But I suppose they're in a last, just a last ditch effort now. So if they don't take anything, they're dead. Uh, what have they got? They got. Oh, I'm just gonna let them attack me. They got loads of cal cavalry, so they're not gonna manage very well. Can I even the just Sasa murder their Brady leader? What about him? 24%. What about him? Oh god, no chance. Um, I'm sure I saw some targets down here. I'm gonna go have a look to the south. Let's get my diplomat on the move. Yeah, you see a lot of small armies now merging on this one army here. Unfortunately, that does mean this big army is still going to attack, which is crap. But that's just the way it's got to be. 
I just get my hands on board. Hopefully, there will be us join the fight this turn yes. soon. Um, so in that case, I'm gonna bring up a, a unit of veterani just to help me take the city. And we're gonna siege this turn. They have got some uh, armies helping, but honestly, I'd be quite happy to just wait for the reinforcements to turn up, slaughter them, and then go take the city. So um, I'll save it here, and when I come back, we will be on the battlefield. So I will see you in just a moment. Okay guys, so we've returned. As you can see, I've set the uh, army out quite in a strange kind of way, really. What I've done is I've um, I've put all my fighting infantry at the front, apart from the ram, I've got spearmen. Um, I've put all the rest of the infantry facing away from the wall because there won't be any good straight away for the reinforcing armies. Not sure which way they're going to come from yet, but I do need to get spearmen inside the city to deal with their cavalry. So, uh, the feed on enemy have more men. Let's see. Oh, the miles away. Okay. That's really good news for us. Um, I don't even think I'm going to bother putting that on the wall yet. I will try and take the gate and I'll use the two ladders because they're all uh, horsemen, so it will, I'll need my horse, uh, my spearman out here to, to deal with that. I'm going to go ahead and drop this because I don't think we're going to need it. Put them in tight formation and send them on their way. What is up here? Ah, but what are they going to do? Are they going to try and enter the city? Or are they going to try and come fight us on the open plains? Um, hmm. well, I'm going to put my main force facing this way anyway, just in case they decide to attack the, uh, the main body of the army. I'm hoping we can break down the wall and just get stuck in with the spearmen. That would be the best thing for us. If we can take the city like straight away. But again, are they going to come and get us or are they going to make their way into the city? Is there a gate over there? Yeah, there is. It would be much harder for us if they come into the city than if they just attack us head on. Because um, we're going to take the walls. What I might do is if I can take this, this wall quickly... I'm going to sprint my guys to that gate and take the gate so they have to come past us to uh, to get to it. Right, now they're all moving. Um, I'm afraid I'm a little bit wary of um, them just trying to attack my guys on the ladders or the ram. But I don't think they're fast enough, honestly. I think they are speeding. Now there will be sword work aplenty. Good progress so far, I'm happy with this. We'll add the walls in no time. Uh, I'm worried they have got a uh, missile cavalry. Well, that is going to be a pain in the ass. So we can't get rid of that. Um, okay, these guys are going to be safe on the wall before they get there. So we can go ahead and take that gate with no issue. I'll uh, run around to take all the towers in the meantime. So, oh, I don't know actually. They're, they're making a run for it. Okay, let's get them running straight away. So that way, as soon as they get up the uh, ladder, they should just go straight to the wall. They'll be knackered, but I don't expect them to fight, to tell the truth. Ah, so I'm worried about these guys. This is going to be a pain in the ass, see? I can take down the uh, warriors have driven the enemy gate. from his own walls. The way to victory is open! There we go. Right, with the a bit of luck now, the we'll just be able to open. charge in and kill Let these kill once I drop the, the, uh, the ram. Come on, come on, come on. Go. Hopefully they won't run, because we won't catch them if they do. Hopefully they'll just get stuck into combat with us. I think we'll be able to take these. I mean, they are armoured archers. And they are firing missiles at us, but at the end of the day, they're cavalry and they're missile cavalry. Come on, guys. Get stuck in. Engage them. What we don't need right now is an AI fuck up to cost us the, the uh. cost us the city. Oh, come on, we're nearly there, boys. Keep going. But it's right, they're still shooting guys, so they can't be engaging them enough. Alright, this looks a little better.
There we go. Right, okay, we should have this unit down. This is the only unit I was worried about because the fact they can fire their, miss you know, their missile cavalry. And they're giving the Varina a bit something to think about, though, isn't they? I just hope my guys don't lose morale and run. They shouldn't because we're slaughtering them. Dowglass has done an excellent job taking this entire war, which is fantastic, and they can take that gatehouse as well. Um, we will have to set up a defence, though. That's the only problem now, is we're going to be... <sighs> we're going to be in a situation where it's like a double... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I, I, I know what I'm trying to say, but not quite. I don't want them to come into the wall, into the broken gate, sorry, these guys here. I'm going to have to engage them before that happens. Um, so I'm going to have to try and hold the sector, this area here, with two units basically. One to hold the gate and one to stop any cavalry coming back in. Um, I do think though, we're going to have to go and deal with this unit. Or at least wait for them to come and get us again. What are we getting shot by? So we captured the gateway, surely. Yeah, see if we can, we'll see if we can reach him. I'd be interested to see what um, these guys get moving. I'm interested to see what these what these guys are going to do. I don't want to dedicate any more of my spearmen to this uh, to the siege until I've gotten rid of these guys and these guys. Um, hopefully, once we've got it, we'll be in a pretty good position to. Um, retrain and take the city and whatever we need to do. Okay, so maybe we should force them to make the first move. So let's go ahead and move up. Get their sharpish. Let's move these guys up behind. Slingers, because they can throw over the heads of our soldiers. I want my crossbowmen on this flank. And guarding them, I want one of my generals. And just for good measure, I'll chuck a druid unit over there as well. Okay, did they get to them? Oh, they're not moving. Well, that's good. I was expecting them to skirmish with us and run away. But if we can wipe the unit out now, which is what I want to do. They're gonna re they're gonna regroup unfortunately. Um, okay, so I want these guys to just basically hold here. They won't be able to hold for long, which is fine. But what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna get my mercenary veteranii to set behind them. They're also in a defensive position, so if they get moving quickly before they come back. Um, I still can't see what they're doing. I don't know if they've been running or if they're winded or what. Let's wait and see. Guys are facing the wrong way, but I'm sure we'll get over that. You know what? In fact, I'm going to spread these two units out more. And I'm going to send this unit over here so they can counter attack anyone who decides to attack the crossbow. Hope my slingers and crossbowmen get the uh, attention of them. Might be going for this section here. Hmm. I'm gonna move my Jeremiah behind my chariot so I don't want him getting jacked up. Yeah. Shield wall. I think they're just gonna walk right past us. Right, well, we can't have that. So let's. Let's tempt them. Get in position to annoy them. Oh, here we go. Looks like they're shifting an attack to us, which is exactly what I wanted. Oh, whoa, 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 you're getting shot by now. Ah, 
Ah, okay, that's fine. All right, well, you guys get off the wall. You don't know. Come on, guys, you gotta be in range short at least. Charging. Only just got into range. What a pain. Okay, crossbows go on this side over here then. Do have unit gallo glass over here, which I forgot about. They're gonna drop the ram. Get a tight formation. Oh, they're running. Bastards. Ah. Oh, I don't really want to do the heavy cavalry. Okay, it looks like we broke some of the infantry there. I'm not sure if these guys will be able to take them. I don't. Hmm. I need you guys to hurry up and finish that unit. Luckily, we can skirmish with these guys. Um, that was what I was worried about. Is they gonna? Oh, I don't know what are they doing. And that's not what I wanted, but I took a lot of casualties here. That is a shame, but I think we're in a position where we can retrain. They're doing a good job, though. Fucking hell. Giving them a hell of a pace, then. Lost a lot, but I mean, that's to be expected. I've quite broken this unit yet. Getting there, though. Like I said, I don't want to send more than I need to. What are you getting killed by now? Okay, I'm lost now. I don't know what's killing them. The enemy warlord is dead. Slain. I think I might still be the these guys. Flee from the field like frightened goats. Hunt them down and slay Ooh, them I knew lost a lot of guys here. Okay. That's fine. You stop. And you stop. You just got killed like fucking mullered by your own guys. Stop. Just stop. No. Enough. Okay. Not bad. Now we can start focusing on this, uh, what's going on inside the keep. Okay, so they've still got a lot of guys there, but I can't really do anything in still until I get rid of the, um, this cavalry. Well, seeing as I own that wall, I think it's cavalry, so I think it's gonna, I'm just gonna march up to them and see what they do. Are they light cavalry? So even better, why not send my chariots over to deal with it? And then I can send my spearmen into the, uh, the castle. Keep, I should say. No, I don't want you guys to go uh That seems like a total waste of missiles to me, but I think we're just going to go ahead and do it. They better kill all of them before they get through. Hold out on the speedman just for the moment. Speed up a little bit. Oh, I don't tell me they got through. Dumb. James about tell the truth. Okay. Oh, they're 
shouting about, but alright. Hmm. An opportunity, you know, an opportunity here to just wipe out the units. We just missile. Might work if they start actually killing it. If all else fails, charge into combat. Ah, it's because they're trying to, like, the same forward. I see. Alright. Jesus. Come on, guys. So why don't we just ignore them and just go kill them instead? Because they're the ones who are actually, like, doing the damage to you. Last time we fought, like, how many of these, we absolutely slaughtered him, so. Hopefully, there won't be any left soon, so they can stop with that infernal racket. But I think they're going to be okay. So let's go ahead and get these guys inside. I'm going to actually take this keep. I lost more chariots than I would have liked, but I wonder what it'd be like if we just go ahead and just attack. I don't know what. These chariots would be like against uh, missile cavalry. I imagine quite good, or at least I'd like to think so, but. I mean, we should kill them with weighted numbers, but I mean, I think. Uh, yeah, we were probably better off just shooting them. But... You have killed the enemy general. Now. There we go. Enemy army runs. Now hunt them down. Good stuff. Alright, well that's another army dead. Um Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead, super speed it up. Cause all they've got now is that is what's in the keep. And we've got plenty of time left remaining to actually just go ahead and kill all these uh all these guys. I will, however. Because I worry about the morale of my army, I will send the druids in. You know. Excuse me, to give him a bit of a morale boost, as it were. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, action going on here. I'm going too fast. Hmm. Luring us out here. I am going to take the bait, because I've still got three units left to come. And uh, I think that'll be more than enough, hopefully. And these guys are inexpensive to train and retrain anyway, so with a bit of luck, we can catch them and at least kill a couple of them before they retreat again. Seeing as we should see by the map, they have no clue what they're doing. Back, go, there we go, let's get the combat. Let's go on, let's take all these guys out. Blah! Spears. Whitting them down a little bit each time. Okay. You guys come here. Yes. Were they sending another unit down? Do I see? Okay, not yet. Um. Let's see if either druids have interest. Oh, they're there already. Okay, good. And um, the rest of the spearmen are nearly there as well. Good stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and form a line here then. Defensive line. Shield wall, put it in there. And let's move the druids there. Speed it up again. Looks like the missile cavalry is coming back down. And once again, we'll take the bait because we, they didn't run last time. Not until I got to them, anyway. They gotta run out of ammo at some point soon, anyway, surely. Okay, that's that dealt with. Let's get this line formed. How far away are they? Alright, let's let's get a move on there, guys, because this is taking forever. Let's 
Alright, now everyone take a second just to chill out a little bit. It was like warmed up, warmed up, warmed up, warmed up. Okay. Do you guys actually have any ammo? Right. That is the question. Yes, they do. So they're just going to stand there. Alright, well, I want you guys to just literally just march up there. March up to the... To the, uh... Road. I suppose the path. Because they guys, they shouldn't cause that many casualties anyway. So you can go ahead and march. Ah, it's good they keep taking drinks and that. Um... Yeah, so actually just run to the top at least. At least get in position. You guys can come out of that. Go there, and I want the druids down as well. Could bring the kerns in, but I think it'd be a bit excessive, and I think I'm not gonna hurt my own guys anyway. So we'll just uh we'll just live with the spearman for now. Should be fine, I mean. I've said that before though. I would hope it'd be fine anyway. I mean, this, this battle's been pretty calculated, to be fair. I think we've done, we've done a pretty good job. Okay, everyone's warmed up all winded, so let's just take a break now. Let's just have a breather. I'd be quite happy for them to send an, a unit down now. Uh, at least one of them. Were any of them actual generals? No, they're all captains. Alright. Right, I'm just going to double the game speed a bit for the guys to get a break. Get them back to at least warmed up and then we'll be okay. Get shot by. Trash. Absolute trash. You guys have ammo yet? Apparently not. Alright, well, let's send one unit up then. We should, there should be none left this time. Alright, alright, cool. Right, so all the spearmen now. I want them all up. Up, 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 up. Pedranii, I want you up there as well. And I want the druids close by. But I want you guys moving it. So I don't get one unit charged. I, know, I realize I'm being overly careful here, guys, but at the end of the day, I can't really afford to lose this, otherwise I'm so, so totally screwed. Hmm. You know what? Just for good measure, where are my curtains? How far away are they? Fucking miles. Alright, well, let's just try and get them in anyway. i run them, see how long it takes them. They might charge me before the curtains get here anyway. We've got movement already. In fact, I see, a, I see a unit moving around my flank. Foolish. Because I guarantee there won't be enough of them. Oh, the Kerns are nearly here, actually. Well, how long have I got to left? 16 minutes. Uh, I think I should have time. I'll wait for him. So I can at least like, get close and then just start throwing stuff at them. Right, so let's get all the spearmen a little bit closer. And I'll have one unit of kerns come up, because I don't think I'll get any more in there. Okay, boss from infantry is charging. Should be able to break them. Honestly. If we don't, then there's something wrong. Yeah, they just they didn't get there. what the cavalry's doing, if it's moving to charge or they're just, you know, pottering about. I know you're unhappy guys, but you know, cool. Okay, I'm going to move up a little bit more, so the Kerns have actually got some room to work with. Luckily I'm just marching, so if they charge I can just literally stop, just like that. Now 
now. These will, these won't run now, and if they do, they'll run back to the square. So they'll come back straight away. I'm hoping we can literally just break them completely. Like this, I'm hoping this is literally one charge, and then we just follow them back and just slaughter them one by one. I also have my druids close by, so they shouldn't run. That's a good stand here, boys. Well done. Well done. Keep it up. Excellent job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's what I like to see. Look at them. No, no one panics. The enemy yes! From the Got it. This is a great great job. Well done, guys. So we lost about, about four or five, so quite a lot, but not bad for a siege. I don't think so, anyway. I mean, if you can kill more than they do on a siege, that's pretty good going. We didn't get any experience, uh, but we did inflict a lot of casualties. Let's see, so now we've taken the city, and like I've been doing um, recently with my cities, is I'm going to exterminate the populace. That's not something I normally do, but we need the money and we need the people. And we don't want them rebelling, so I think it's already been destroyed. Actually, are they happy? Eh, in that case, we'll just hmm. Enslave. Normally, I would go ahead and uh, wipe them out, but I don't think we can really afford to. Right, so we've got one turn now to retrain the boys. Good, that's a full fighting army. Uh, now, Vicar Saxon is, is probably going to fall the next turn. We're going to have to fight that siege. I'm going to do all I can to not let it fall. Um, but this constant sieging has really brought down the unit sizes. So, honestly, if we can just like hold the gate, I think we'll be okay. You know what I mean, but there's so much cavalry. It's just nuts. Like, oh god, I don't know. I don't think we'll hold it. I mean, I could send my army up to try and. You know, take them now, but I think we've got more of a chance if we hold Campus Frisia and just wear them down. Um, London is not happy. Surprise, surprise. Okay, not that happy. Um, I think once I've relieved the sieges here, I'm going to start pushing south as fast as possible to get some more money and then build up another army to support the north. But I think this is the first time we've actually made any decent progress since we've been started um, against the Roxalana anyway, and provided it doesn't all go to shit we should be okay so anyway so next time the plan is to defend Vicar Saxonis the uh, Vicar Saxonis sorry and hopefully not lose it um, probably have Campus Frisii siege by all these small armies here um, if not then I'll probably hold it against this huge army um, hold Avaricum hold Budigala and push south really really quickly take these two settlements here and just keep moving our diplomat closer and closer to our hopefully future allies in the Roman Western Empire. But that's for next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you did, or leave the video a like. And I will see you all again very soon. Take care.